Welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. I'm going to take you through a really quick example on how to divide two functions. So for this, I have my functions f and g. And the notation you might see for division looks like this. It says f divided by g of x. And that's pretty good notation. You'll, you'll see it in many different locations. But sometimes when I look at it, my brain isn't quite sure what to do. So instead, you can use an alternate notation just so you can see where the pieces of f and g need to be substituted. So here's what that alternate notation looks like. It says you're going to take your entire function f and divide by your entire function g. Now don't worry, even though that notation doesn't look the same, it actually means the same as the original. All right. Now I can see that I need to put in my expression for f on the top and my expression for g on the bottom. All right, so this is basically just a substitution problem now. Put that in for the top, take my g expression, put that in for the bottom. All right, this thing's looking better and better. All right, now one last thing you want to remember is that even though you've taken your f and you've divided it by g, that, you know, it still might simplify just a little bit more. And when you're working with division and trying to simplify, sometimes you want to cancel out any extra factors. So to help us out with this next part, imagine trying to factor the top and the bottom. This will allow us to see any extra pieces that cancel out. Okay, so when I look at the top, it looks like I can factor out at 2. This will give me 2 times x plus 5. Alright, and in the bottom, if we factor that polynomial, looks like we'll get an x plus 5 and x minus 3. Hey, what do you know? It looks like there's an x plus 5 on the top and on the bottom. Those guys are gone. This means that our final expression for f divided by g is just 2 over an x minus 3. All right? And there you go. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.